Hey guys, what's up? I am Ninji, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over each and every vendor at the tower, going over their weapons, and letting you know which ones I think are good, which ones I think are bad, which ones I recommend buying. So, I have actually not looked at any weapons yet. Uh, I'm mean, going to glance over a few right at reset, but now I'm actually going to go through each one in detail, let you guys know which ones I would purchase and which ones I would just, you know, leave. So it is April 4th, and we're going to start off with Crucible. So come down to the Crucible Quarter, Quarter Master. And the first thing you want to look at is the Palindrome. Uh, sadly, this week's Palindrome is not usable. We're going to go ahead and look at it. Uh, first off, the perks are just not that great. You have Hidden Hand, Last Resort, or Relentless Tracker. Sights, you have True Sight, no Sure Shot, but sadly you have no Rifled Barrel. You pretty much have to have Rifled Barrel uh, in this day and age where hand cannons are at. Without Rifled, you're just having so much range fall off. Your hand cannon is just not, not very good. So sadly, the Palindrome this week is not buyable. Don't buy it. Don't, don't do it. Please don't do it. All right, we have the Zero Day Dilemma. Uh, as far as auto rifles go, auto rifles are very strong right now. This looks like a solid, a solid roll. Honestly, I, I don't know too much about auto rifles. Obviously, this thing is gonna have amazing stability, but you lose a lot of bullets. So honestly, I don't, I don't think this is very good. I, but again, I don't really know much about auto rifles. I don't use auto rifles, but that doesn't look that great. Uh, party favor looks. This looks like an amazing party favor rule. I would buy this, honestly. I would buy this. You have good stability, two really good perks. Uh, the party favor is the same as the Hoxa, I believe, which is a really good ar archetype. The only problem is you don't have very many bullets with this thing, but this looks like a very good, a very, very good roll. I almost want to buy it and try it out for you guys this week, not gonna lie. Uh, but I, I think I would recommend that as of right now. Uh, Scout Rival, we have the Hero Formula. Firefly, Small Bore, Explosive Rounds. Dude, this right here, god roll for PvE. Firefly, Explosive Rounds, and... I, I think I would just go Eye of the Storm. This is really good. Uh, this is very, very good. I would use this for PvE straight up. I'm not even kidding. I recommend the Hero Formula. Uh, Fusion Rifles, yeah. <laughs> Curtain Call... Rifled Rangefinder Army of One Aggressive? Maybe? This isn't bad for a shotgun if you you know don't have a mounted or a party crasher. This is not a bad roll. You have rifle, which is the most important. Rangefinder giving it more range, but it's gonna slow down your ABS now because of that last patch. This is, this is a solid curtain call. I'm gonna be going through these pretty quickly, guys. Uh just because I don't want to take up too much time. Uh, Anton's rule, not a good sidearm. No matter what, don't ever buy it. Event Horizon, Hidden Hand, and Short Gaze. Very, very good Event Horizon. Sadly, you have no... Um, you have... You have no stability perks. Like, you have no Quick Draw or uh, Injection Mold. So, it's not going to have very good ready time. But, that's okay. This is actually really good for PvE, too. Because you have Triple Tap... And casket mag, which gives you larger magazines. So this is actually, this actually might be a really good PVE roll slash PVP roll. This, this is just pretty good, no matter what. I recommend the Event Horizon if you don't have any sniper rifles. Let's go chaotic neutral. We have hidden hand, perfect balance, or rifled. I would go perfect balance, I believe. And unflinching or spray, maybe spray and play. This isn't bad. This is a solid heavy machine gun. I mean. And machine guns are down a dozen. You can get them everywhere, to be honest. Let's be real. And then the Something Wicked does not have a grenade horseshoes, which just means no. So that is the Crucible Quartermaster. We are going to go ahead and move on over to the Vanguard Quartermaster. And then we will go to Dead Orbit and then Future Workbolt and the new Monarchy. All right, we are at the Vanguard Quartermaster. If you do not know this, where this is, this is at the Shipyard Tower to the right very simple vanguard quartermaster so for the vanguard quartermaster uh there's really only two ish weapons that are uh honestly like good archetype weapons that is the parthian shot and the angel's advocate um but we can go ahead and look at everything again auto rifles are in a pretty good place right now they're very strong i don't know this looks like a pretty 
damn good uh, Continental, other than Third Eye. Like perfect balance and crowd control seem pretty pretty amazing. So this might be pretty good. Again, I don't I don't really want to suggest other rifles because I just don't use them and I don't know that much about them. But that looks like a very good roll. Parthian shot. We have glass out full. Small bore secret rounds. I just don't like small bore to be honest. I wish this was something else. I'm not a fan of that part of the end shot. Moving on to the Angel's Advocate, which already looks like a god roll. It is a god roll. So this again, another PVE god roll. You have Outlaw and Firefly. So for those of you, your one players, this is a Fate Bringer basically, and you have explosive rounds. Like this is literally a Fate Bringer. Uh, small bore. It's going to decrease your magazine a little bit, but it's going to give you range and stability. This is a god roll for PvE. I recommend this 100% for the raid, for any raid this week. For Bog or Crota, depending on if you're doing which one. Or, you know, if you're doing Breath of the Machine still. I definitely recommend this. This is a god roll. Uh, How Dare You is not a good archetype, but you can still have fun with this thing. And it has Rifled and Rangefinder. This is a this is as good as a How Dare You is going to get. Uh, again, it's not the best archetype because it's not the max impact, but this is still a very good roll. Sadly, I would wish there was a different perk right here, but there's nothing good here. So it's really just you have these two and you have Sure Shot, which is really good. But that's a really good out there, you. Could be fun. No Diffusion Rifles. This is, again, not a great sidearm. Some people like this. a Teacup Tempest. I do not like this archetype. Bad archetype, in my opinion. This Rocket Launcher is atrocious. This Heavy Machine Gun, however, is insane. You don't need you don't need brace frame on this thing um could be better could be a better roll uh crowd control is insane on this thing it's gonna make people i'm pretty sure you'll be able to two tap people once you get that active life support's cool but i wish you had like rifled or something right here brace frame you don't want to decrease the magazine size ever or field scout on a on a, a heavy machine gun is amazing uh, next we have the seventh sense which has atrocious sights okay so this is just this is absolute doo-doo don't buy this <laughs> and last but not least we have the occam's razor uh this is a shotgun you could use for pve um honestly i would wait until full auto is on this that's full auto is a great uh perk for shotgun for pve because this is not a pvp shotgun it's not a low impact high rate of fire but i'm not really a fan of this rule i mean rifle's cool crack and control is cool but yeah i don't recommend it all right so that is vanguard well, let's go ahead and move on over to dead orbit so mr dead orbit man let's see what you have all right dead orbit we have the Auto rifle, which again, don't have too much knowledge on auto rifles, but from what I can tell you, it looks like it's pretty solid roll, a lot of stability and range. These perks are kind of useless, so I don't know. Moving on to the Keystone. Mm, now, I've seen better rolls. I've seen better rolls on the Keystone. I don't recommend the Scout either this week. Last week's was a lot better. Fusion rifle, it's a fusion rifle, let's be real. Last ditch has a rangefinder, small bore. No, 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 no. You can get last ditch with multiple range perks. So, I don't know, I don't like that last ditch, it's not looking good. The bitter edge, take a knee, which is a super fun perk. If you guys did not know, you have perfect accuracy while uh, crouched basically, so you can no scope. So it's actually a really fun perk. Um, but sadly, these other perks are, are just just not. No. No, thank you. Let's move on to the Onto Dust. Don't ever buy this thing. It is atrocious. It's just not a good rocket launcher. That blast radius is way too tiny. Way too tiny. And that velocity. It's just no bueno. So that is all the dead orbit weapons. Let's go ahead and move on to Future World Cold. Honestly, all in all, I don't recommend anything from Dead Orbit this week at all. Can't, I can't recommend you guys anything. But let's go ahead and take a look at Future War Cult. So Future War Cult, the whale has luck in the chamber. Perfect balance. Oof, that's bad. This guy, again, this is an awesome archetype hand cannon, but you cannot get rifled on this thing, which is really unfortunate. You can get hammer forged, just the best option. But yeah, it's just, it can be a fun little hand cannon to mess with, but it's not ever going to compete with your other ones. 
sadly. Uh, we have the Waltz with Rodeo, Perfect Balance, and Armor Piercing. No, not a good Rodeo. Or Waltz, I mean, sorry. Again, this is this looks like a God Roll Fusion Rifle. Knee pads, a range finder, accelerated coils. You don't really want to accelerate coils too much use. Uh, they don't want to take away from impact, but again, it's a fusion rifle. Fusion rifles are meh at the most. The wounded. Zen moment. Triple tap. An extended mag. Again, this thing could be a PvE monster. You have a lot of bullets. Extended mag and triple tap. And Zen moment. This is a good, this is a very good scout rifle. So far, like all the scout rifles, most of the scout rifles this week have looked absolutely amazing. All right, moving on to the Wormwood fan favorite. This is a very good roll. This is probably the best overall sidearm in the game. Uh, True Sight, very good sight. Uh, high Cal, to my knowledge, doesn't do anything on a sidearm, so you never want to use High Cal. Um, the flinch on a sidearm pretty much is unchanged it's always the same so you want to go with snapshot here hand loaded or zen moment both very good perks and then range rider this is a very good sidearm definitely recommend the wormwood this week and the warpath we don't even have to look at it not a good roll it doesn't upgrade any horseshoes okay so future work hold recommend the scout which is the wounded i believe and then obviously the wormwood is a very very good roll so those are my two recommendations. Let's go ahead and move on to the third and final faction, New Monarchy. My favorite faction, but sadly, New Monarchy does not have the best weapons this year. Okay, third and final faction, New Monarchy. Here we go. Let's see. Wow, that was really low, really slow loading. All right, so New Monarchy. Let's take a look at the auto rifle. Again, this auto rifle archetype is insane. This is the same as the Doctrine which is very good again uh and this for the most part looks like pretty much a god roll uh, i mean you have counterbalance and perfect balance so you're getting a really good amount of stability counterbalance is giving you the better the the up and down vertical spray which most people prefer and i guess i would go with high cal on this thing i'm not really sure maybe not because that might reduce the uh the spray even, even more make might make it even more unstable so maybe i would just go with hit fire even though it's not really good but this seems like a very good roll i don't know again i'm not a huge auto rifle person i keep saying this i know but i i from my knowledge this looks like a god roll so i would definitely try that out if you like auto rifles moving on to the free willy as i like to call it this looks like an insane roll Again, bad archetype hand cannon, but it still can be fun. Luck in the chamber. Oh, I always forget the second perks here. Perfect balance, which is bad. Explosive rounds. Never mind, this is not a good roll. Don't buy this. Luck in the chamber is cool, but everything else about that was bad. The sidearm. I've never actually tried this sidearm. I know it, I don't think it's the best archetype, but it still could be cool. I don't know. Sidearms are sidearms, to be honest. They're all pretty good. So, yeah. All right, the bad console. This is what I was talking about. This looks like a PVE shotgun. You have full auto. You have a little bit more range and extended mag. This might be the go-to, guys. I'm not even kidding. Throw on some Accurize. This, if you're looking for a good PVE shotgun, this looks like it might be it. Full auto, give you some range, give you bigger mag, and you give yourself more range and impact. This is my, uh, this is my gun of the week, dude, for PVE right here. Especially shotguns. Shotguns are very good in VOG, so if you're trying to get a shotgun for VOG, I recommend this back console. This looks like a really good shotgun. Moving on to the Deposition 7. We have Taken E again, which is a great perk. Uh, triple tap, snapshot. This is not this is not a bad. This is not a bad sniper rifle. You could take this into crucible, have uh, some better uh, aiming speeds. You got the best sight, considered to be the best sight by most people. And take a knee, like I said, this perk allows you to slide Nuzco people with perfect hip fire accuracy. So this could be pretty fun. And is that is that it? Nope, we have one more. We have the first citizen seven. No matter what, I will never recommend this machine gun. I don't like the the highest rate of fire machine guns. I like the slower rater, slower slower rate, uh, high impact ones. So I'm not gonna re recommend this. But that is it, guys. 
those are all of the weapons, the vendor weapons for this week. Those are all my recommendations. Uh, to sum it up, I'm trying to remember what I there. Uh, There's a lot of good scout rifles. The I'm pretty sure the Crucible one was really good. The Vanguard one was amazing. Dead Orbit was not good. Future Recall with the Wounded was very good. So there's a lot of good scout rifles. Uh, the shotgun from New Monarchy, big fan of it. Looks like it could be a lot of fun for for PVE. And what else? There was the Wormwood also from Future War Cult. Very, very good roll. But yeah, that was pretty much it for my recommendations for this week. Hopefully, uh, you guys can let me know if you ended up getting any of these and if you ended up liking any of these. But yeah, anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day. I'll talk to you guys later.